So a handstand forward roll, it's a great way of bailing out of a handstand and also a great skill to just learn to have in your toolbox. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to do, not easy, but simple, where you hit a handstand, you go into your down phase of your handstand push up and follow through with a simple forward roll. So what I'm talking about is this. I'm gonna kick up into a nice handstand. Hopefully I can hold my handstand somehow, which I'm not doing right now. Handstand push up, tuck my head in, roll, reach in front of me, stand. Simple stuff. So, stuff to think about is, I wanna make sure that I have at least a down phase of my handstand push up down so I have some kind of leverage as I go through. Otherwise, I'm gonna need spotters and all kinds of things. That's why we're trying to program all these strength pieces just so you guys can have this as a little backup plan in case things go a little wrong, okay? So things to think about is I need to have the down phase of my handstand push up, meaning I wanna be able to go from a handstand into a headstand. What we're talking about here is trying to go from a handstand position into the bottom of my headstand. So slow it down and have the head meet the ground in that nice little tripod. If I have that, it's very easy to tuck my head in at the end and just follow through with the roll. So I will start with my arms up, big step, handstand, handstand push up, tuck my head in and roll. If you don't have a freestanding handstand for a second or two, it's going to be hard to do. But we can always do this against the wall. So let's try to do the same thing, but starting from a chest against the wall position and see if we can transfer it right there. What we're going to do is we're just going to climb ourselves up into that classic handstand against the wall. We're going to place our hands a little further away from the wall than a regular hand balancing position. And what we're going to do is we're going to send our head forward with a hollow body position. Right when my head is about to touch, I'm going to tuck my head in and I'm just going to let myself roll. This should be something very comfortable to do and if you don't feel comfortable, I would highly recommend placing a mat, having a little buddy spotting you just so you don't come down at high speeds, but at least you get the direction of where to go. Remember the tripod position happens in that nice little triangle where your hands are flat on the ground, head is placed in front of the fingers, so we're creating this big triangle in base support. Same thing is going to happen while we're doing our handstand push-up or our, sorry, our forward roll off the wall. I'm going to want to send my head forward and follow through with a chin in, tuck position, and roll out of it. Same concept applies every single time. If you're a gymnast out there and you're looking at this and you're saying, what the hell is this guy talking about? This is the beginning of it. It's a very easy thing to do. But what you can also do down the line as you get a little better is you can lead with the heels. So the heels start the, the, the direction of the roll, then the hips come, then the shoulders come, then we tuck and roll. What I'm talking about is the following. This is a more dynamic version. This is more realistic. This is what it will look like when you're actually doing it in real life. I would separate my feet from the wall. My feet will initiate and I would roll out. That gives me way more speed, way more momentum, and will allow me to do way more progressive stuff down the line. But if you want to start, start with your down phase of the handstand push-up, tuck your head in at the end, and roll out of it. And then eventually you can translate that into freestanding stuff and make some real magic happen.